and it says, uh, Matthew 25 and 5, and it says, while the bridegroom Terry, they all slumbered and slept, right? All of Israel fell asleep, man, right? They slumbered and slept. They went into a spiritual, a spiritual sleep, right? They fell off, right? Thinking, well, you know, shit, I got the name, I'm good. I can take my hand out the plow when shit get bad, I just call on the name, you know. Nah, man, it's not like that, you know? It says, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept, you know? Because even with Esau, man, we when he brought us into slavery, what they do? They beat the Hebrew right out of us, man. Put us to sleep. <laughs> you know, beat the Hebrew right out of us, man. And Jake been asleep ever since. You know? But this time he coming to marry us back. To himself. You know? So the elect gonna do what? They gonna, they gonna have their oil in their lamps, which is a word, and they gonna get on that ship. All aboard, they gonna be on that ship, man. The leg gonna get on the ship. That's just basically what it is. This is uh, verse six. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. At what it say, at midnight. What's midnight? That's at dark, that's dark, right? So where we at now? Midnight is, is, is another way of saying darkness. So what we at now, brother, we in America, man. We in the darkness of America, man. Ain't no truth in this damn place, man. Other than what you hear the men of the Lord push, pushing on the highways and byways, right, in sincerity, mainly the men of Great Millstone, and you have other men that's, that uh, <clears throat> that basically uh, follow the same doctrine. They might not have a name, but a certain name of that name, but certain men, they have, you know, different names, what they go by. They follow the same doctrine and teachings, man. So these are the men, man. That that truth is being put forth. But ain't no truth in this damn place, man. America, this is a dark place, man. Place of darkness, right? That's why I say at midnight, man. It says at midnight there was a cry made, man. Go ahead, man. Walk through there. That's why the cry is being made out. We crying out. We signed and crying out in this place of America, man, for our bridegroom to come get us, man. You know? It says, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. So, go ye out to meet him. How do we meet him? He not here yet, so how we gonna meet him if he ain't here? That's why we gotta learn these scriptures, man. Learn the scripts, man. Stay in the scriptures. You know? And go out and teach Israel. We learn the scriptures and we go out and teach them. That's how we going out to meet the bridegroom before he even get back. You know? Verse 7. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil. For our lamps are gone out. Oh shit, listen to what them foolish said. They want some oil now. Please give us oil. Nah, you was foolish. You weren't prepared. You thought it was a game. So now, now it's time to move out. <laughs> In the midnight, the cry out, you ain't got no oil for your lamps. You know, ain't no truth in you no more. You know? Now the bridegroom coming, you need that oil, man. So check it out. These prophecies are study happening. The prophecies are study happening. They're study happening, man. They coming to pass more and more. You know, when you see martial law, when you see uh, sedition among men, you're gonna see these riots coming. When you see all that, and then, and then when you see this mainly, when you mainly see this right here. You see the Lord come back. <laughs> he come back in them, that right there. When you see him come back in them chariots, man. When you see him come back. 
you know, you know, right then when you see this right here, we're being married unto our husband. Yahweh Shai, we being bid it back to that marriage, man. We being we being married back to the Heavenly Father and His Son. That right there, that's when you see that right there. We being married back. See that, see all them, see all them uh little dots in the air, those are the chariots, those are the angels, those are those uh the torch lit procession. That's the torch, torch lit procession that we, we were saying that when we used to go get our wives, we were making plenty of noise with our uh our best men, so to speak. A bride, a bridegroom has his best men. Those are his best men. Yahweh Shah's best men are them angels coming with them chariots with him. With that torch lit procession. It's going to be a lot of light because it's going to be a lot of killing. A lot of lasers going out. A lot of fire when they come back. Torch lit procession, man. Coming to join us back to Yahweh Shah, man. That's going to be beautiful. That's the day that we look for. And it says, and the foolish, uh, Matthew 25 and 8, and the foolish said unto the wise, give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. Right? See, our lamps are gone out. They ain't got the truth no more. But the wise, verse 9, the wise answer saying, not so. Meaning they said, hey, no, you can't have no oil. I ain't getting none of my oil. I ain't finna miss this right. You know? Because that's why when the time gonna come out here, hey, we're, 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 we got the, we getting this oil now, filling our lamps up. So when that time comes, because time gonna come out here in these streets, man, where the prophets are not gonna be on the highways and byways no more. And them foolish gonna be looking for that the oil, which is the truth, and they're not gonna be able to find it. It's gonna be too late. Because the prophets are not gonna be on the highways and byways the whole time, man. The Lord getting ready to move the prophets from the highways, man. Come soon. And we're gonna know when that time comes for us to stop doing this. You coming out seeing men on the street? It's gonna, hey, that's gonna come to a halt, man. I tell you that in Amos 8 chapter. The family are hearing the word. So you got to get it now, man. This is an important time to fill your lamps with oil now. You know, don't be caught without this oil. And it says, but the wise answer saying, no, not so. Least there not be enough for us and you, but go rather to them that sell and buy yourself. So go to them that sell the oil and buy yourself. See? They gonna be out here running, looking for them. They gonna be looking for the truth. Man, where them prophets at, man? I know they was on this corner, man. They used to come out on Saturdays at this certain time. Damn. Man, where they at? Man, look on YouTube. Hey, ain't gonna be nothing on YouTube. Cause they get ready to cut all that out. So you gotta get this right now. Right now is the time. To not be slumber. You know? Verse 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. So when they went to buy the oil, the bridegroom came. So guess what? They didn't miss the ride. They didn't miss the ride up out of here. It says, and they that were ready went with him to the marriage and the doors were shut. Boom. And the doors were shut, man. Meaning what? They went, the, the, the elect who had the oil was waiting on your house shy. When the destruction came, right? When the destruction came, when this came right here, the destruction, when that came right there, right? The thermonuclear missiles, ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles, when this came right here, guess what? The ones who was wise, they went right up into the ships with your house shot, man. They went right up into them ships with your house shot. They got beamed up. And the ones who went to try to buy the oil who didn't have it, they missed the ride, man. They gonna get, they gonna get, they gonna get uh, destroyed by the indignation and the wrath of the Lord, thermonuclear destruction. That's what's finna go down. That's what's finna take place, man. That's what's happening. That's what's up, as the young kids say. That's what's up, that's what's up. You know? 
and it says, while they went to the to buy the bridegroom came, and they and they that were already went with him to the marriage, and the doors were shut. Right? Because the nukes gonna be flying everywhere, man. The nukes gonna be flying everywhere. Them doors gonna be shut, bro. I'm gonna read Isaiah 26. The book of Isaiah 26. Isaiah 26 and 20. It says, Come, my people, enter thy into thy chambers and shut thy doors. Into the chambers. It said, The bridegroom going to come get us and the doors going to be shut. The doors of what? The doors of them chariots, man. That's what's going to be shut, man. The doors of the chariots, right? What's up, man? You know your Israelite? You know your Israelite? You didn't know that? You thought you was African American? <laughs> See that? See that right there? It's little Spike Lee, man. He was like, he made a little rap dance out of it. No. Okay. You ain't gotta hear it, whether you hear it for bear. I'm gonna tell you, it's like, you know, try to get the blood out of my hand. Now you know it is like, he heard it. He walked by it, now he running. You know, he got it, the spirit got him jaywalking and everything. He don't know what's going on. He could've went to jail right then, just being fucking stupid. Esau could have sent him right to jail if he was looking at him. It says, Isaiah, Isaiah uh, 26, what? Isaiah 26 and 20. Isaiah 26 and 20, and it says, Come, my people, enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation overpass. So that's being on them chariots. The hide yourself for a little moment, right? For a little moment until the indignation, until these nukes get through what? Bombing America. Hide yourself, man, right? And I'm gonna go back and read that again. It says, come my people, enter into thy chambers. What's the chambers? That's the, that defense, man. Them chambers represent, represent a defense. The chambers are the chariots. That's our defense right there, right? That's our defense, man. Keep us safe in the worst of times because the worst of times is about to come. So that's the only way you're gonna get out of these worst times when chariots being shot is the Lord gotta defend you. So he gonna beam the elect up into the chambers, man. That's our defense, man. This is uh, Psalms. 27 Psalms 27 and 5 and it says for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me he shall set me upon a rock right so we're gonna be in them chariots man that's how the Lord gonna hide you in them chariots man Come, verse Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter thy into thy chamber and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Right? It says, Hide thyself for as it was a little moment. So, it's, it's basically, when you go and when you read Matthew 6, it tell you, Go into your closet and pray. Shut the door of your closet and pray. So we in these chariots, guess what? We're gonna be in our little chamber with the door shut, right? And then you're gonna understand that the Lord just saved you from a, a great indignation. You're gonna humble yourself more and you're gonna be praying in them cha in them chambers, man. You're gonna humble yourself more. Right? That's a whole that's your holy security being in them chambers. That's our divine, that's our divine protection. That's why I said, Matthew, man, when you pray, the Lord said, go into your closet, shut the door. And all this and all this is all together. That's what we're gonna do in them chariots, man. When you know that you go, when you know your ass barely just got saved from this fire you're looking at, you're gonna humble yourself down, you're gonna thank you how about shooting y'all was shot. That's the elect. You gonna thank you how about shooting y'all was shot, man. Hey, we barely gonna make it. I tell you that right here. This first Peter's.
1 Peter 4 and 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, what shall the ungodly and the sinner? It says, where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Question. It says, that if the righteous scarcely be saved, we barely going to be saved out of here. Some of the elect going to be looking. The fire going to be coming towards your face. You going to see the fire coming. And right here, when it get right here, man, the Lord going to like take you up, man. That's how scarce it's going to be. You going to see bombs probably coming right at your face. You still got that faith. Oh, y'all about to be outside, Brock and Thaw, y'all Brock and Thaw, y'all shot. And right before that missile get ready to make impact, you be on the ship. Man, that's the righteous scares gonna be saved. So them sinners, man, hey, man, it's gonna be death and destruction to them, man. It's gonna be death and destruction to them. You know? 